all. My name is Laurence and I am a PMM at Block Native. Today, I'm going to talk to you about adding MEV front running and sandwiching protection to your MetaMask wallet. Now, why should you care? Well, let's go back a little bit and talk about what happens with your transaction. When you submit your transaction to go on chain, it actually goes to this public mempool. And in this public mempool, there are MEV bots that are monitoring transactions that are coming in, looking for ones that result in high liquidity events. If your transaction is targeted as one that does result in a high liquidity event, these MEV bots can front run or sandwich those transaction, transactions, potentially resulting in unfavorable transaction outcomes for you. Now, luckily, solutions have evolved over time that can help mitigate this. One of those solutions is protect RPC endpoints. Now, what's really cool about these RPC endpoints is that it actually routes your transaction to a private mempool instead of a public one. And in these private mempools, front running and sandwiching bots can't monitor them, which is very beneficial to you. Now, use cases. So traders will use these RPC endpoints for transactions that result in high liquidity events. And also these endpoints are used for transactions that need to remain private before confirmation. Now, one thing to note is that because these transactions are going to a private mempool, it could take a little bit longer to settle on chain. So you should not use these endpoints uh, for any transaction that needs to be settled on chain quickly. Now, today we're going to use the block native protect RPC endpoint, which you can find at docs.blocknative.com and we'll be using the MetaMask wallet. Let's dive in. So I've gone to docs.blocknative.com, block native protect and the protect RPC endpoint. This walks you through it all. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to open up our MetaMask wallet. I've created a test account here. What we're going to do, if you see here, Ethereum mainnet, we're going to click this down and we're going to add a network. It's gonna pop up a new browser window. And down here, it says, add a network manually. I'm gonna click that. I'm going to title the network name. Um, something memorable can be anything you want. Uh, I'm going to do block native protect. New RPC URL, copy and paste this guy right here. And put it right here. Chain ID is one, currency symbol is ETH. You can add a block explorer URL if you'd like. We're not going to do that today. And then click save. Voila, network added successfully. Then we can switch to block native protect. And now any transaction that you do on block native protect will be sent to that private transaction, uh, private mempool. If you wanna switch out of it, you can just go here, go back to Ethereum mainnet to do transactions that you want to settle on chain extremely fast. And that's it. Enjoy.